Now, there is no way that we can do an Independence Day special without mentioning the Eurovision Song Contest and Israel's enormous successes. The International Singing Contest features participants from across Europe, Australia, and Israel who submit an original song every year to be performed on live television and radio. And even though Israel's a tiny little nation, it's won this impressive and massive event four different times. You might remember Israel's most recent winner, Neta Balzilai, who brought home the top prize back in 2018 for this gem. Well, Neta wowed us all back in 2018, but today we have a very special guest, the first ever Israeli winner of the Eurovision, Ishal Cohen, who beat out all of the competition with this hit song that Israelis still can't seem to get out of their heads. Let's have a listen. You're with us, right? You were already a very best job. Hi, you? it's great to see you again. And as per usual, I just loved your outfit. Amazing. I wish you were wearing it Chag right Sameach. now. Chag Sameach. Sameach. <laughs> now, you were a very famous performer here in Israel before your performance in the Eurovision. But tell us what it was like to be Israel's first ever Eurovision winner. I mean, what did it mean to you to make such a huge national accomplishment? Yeah, this this is a very, very it's a huge question, you know. It's a, <laughs> it's so many things, you know. In in that time in '78, we were like a small village uh, in in the whole world, and especially uh, in our uh, music and culture. Uh, we were very well known as uh, heroes and uh, great soldiers and fighters, but. Uh, we couldn't uh, open the door for our music, for mm -hmm. our creation to the world. And uh, we couldn't imagine that we, once we ever win the Eurovision. And when I made it in 78, it was like a turning point. Uh, always they asked to, dis uh, to describe what was this moment. I can describe it in... Um, one word like earthquake. It was uh, a happiness moment, happy, such happy moment right. that uh, I had the honor to bring to my my uh, country, to my family, to my friends, and right. it was a turning point. You know the way. Absolutely. The way I mean, I mean, you said it. It was like an earthquake, right? I mean, it really was groundbreaking for this country from a, a music yeah. perspective, from a world perspective. Now, it's been more than 40 years since you won. How do you think Israel has changed, you know, especially when it comes to music? And what are your hopes for the future? Listen, Israel is part of the international scene in, uh, in music and in, in everything. We are just part of every nation and uh, we we got a long 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 wait since then you know first of all my eurovision brought the color tv to israel <laughs> because we had to transmit the the eurovision from jerusalem with colors so technically and uh, and uh, all the way we look at ourselves uh, changed so much since then and now we are like uh, we said we are on the map, you know. Right. So Every what? Every and can, uh, can make it. Absolutely. In, uh, in nationally. Well, I think that we are all, you know, hoping and praying that our next uh, performer in the Eurovision is going to win. I'm sure that you're going to be watching, but I think there really isn't anything that compares to that first groundbreaking performance. The best song ever. Like I said, we still can't get it out of our heads. Isel, thank you so much for joining us again. And Chag Sameach, happy holiday.